What is good in the hood, my brethren? Welcome back to another YouTube tutorial where today we are going to be writing our own custom database, JSON database system, super fast, way easier than using any of these custom databases for small projects and just to get yourself going with some data storage. A uh, quick demonstration of how it's going to work. <clears throat> Basically, we have three files, only one is required. This has all the functionality, so this is a read database that takes a uh, database name and defaults to database.json and we have a write database which takes an object and a database name which can also default to database.json so this one is optional. Uh, the object gets written to a JSON file and saved in your local directory. Uh, but to show you how it works, Basically, this write example is just going to write this data object to our database, and this read example is just going to console the content. So if I just run mm, uh, write example dot JavaScript, save success, we can check out that file easy. And then if I just run node uh, read example dot js, it consoles. Super, excellent, brilliant. So now we're gonna make our own version. Let's just CD into a file called tutorials, and I'm gonna make a directory called database. Now in here, as you saw, we need three files. So I'm gonna to go touch uh, database functions dot JavaScript. I'm gonna to go touch write dot JavaScript. I'm gonna to go touch read.javascript and then I have an extension which allows me to go code dot and it opens up that terminal. Perfect. So first what we're going to do is come into here and write our database functions. Uh, and that begins with importing file system which you will just uh, have in your computer. You don't need to install anything. And we require file system and now we can start defining our functions. So first we have function read database and this takes a database name and defaults to database.json and in here this one's super quick all we do is const data is equal to file system dot read file synchronously have to use the sync one uh, and it takes the database name and it takes the character set and we're going to do uft8 then what it does is it returns json.pass uh, and data and it passes the json file into a readable object. So it's super simple and then we have function write database and that is going to take two arguments. The first one is the object that we're writing uh, and the second one is an optional argument which is database.json and in this one, we're going to start off with a guard clause that says if object does not exist, we want to return console.log, please provide data to save. Super simple. Otherwise, we're going to do a try catch block just to catch any errors we may have. We're going to catch the error. And here, we're just going to return console.log, save fail. And here we're just going to return console.log, uh, save successful. And obviously we need the logic, so that is going to be uh, file system dot write file sync, and we want to save the database name, and the information that we're saving is JSON dot stringify the object. And just like that, that code is all done. Uh, this will overwrite the current file if the database name already exists. What you could do is do an if check to see if the current data matches the new data and keep a backup copy. Uh, but in this case, we're not going to stress it. Now in here, we're just going to dynamically import uh, read database uh, is equal to require dot slash database functions and we're just going to console.log read database uh, need the brackets to call the function and in here we're just going to do the same thing so const write database 
is equal to require dot slash database dot functions. We're going to define a random object. Uh, so we're going to go equals uh, James. He is, oh, need to be a string. He is so cool. Um, so you should like and sub. Awesome. And then we're just going to save that. So we're going to write to the database uh, object. Now let's try these files out. So first we're going to write to the database write.javascript. We have an error, it seems. Write database is not function. And that's because we got the last and most important step. If you want these to be accessible everywhere else, you have to export them uh, is equal to read db and write db. So if we try that again, say successful, it writes to our database, you should like and subscribe. And then if we go node read.javascript, it works perfectly. Uh, this code is on my GitHub page, link in the description, you can check it out. Uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe. I'll be doing more complicated demonstrations of this in other videos and catch you in the next one. See you later.